an illness that is spreading <laughs> around the world. The kind of virus that looks like proud. It's a viral infection that's like spreading around the world right now. It's like a viral disease. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illnesses. There are four main subgroupings of the virus. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta. Fun fact! Corona means crown in Latin. The name represents the crown-like spikes on the surface of this virus, which can be seen under a microscope. These illnesses range from the common cold to severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, and the 2019 novel coronavirus. Coronaviruses are zoonotic. Zoonotic viruses means that they are transmitted between animals and people. Is it just like a new strain? It's like a mutation on the corona family of viruses. Like a book about it? I don't know. It's like a new virus but from like a seafood market in like Wuhan, China. COVID-19 is the novel coronavirus that emerged in Wuhan, China during late 2019. It is most likely from an unidentified animal in the live animal markets. A novel coronavirus means that the strain of coronavirus has not been previously identified in humans. You like symptoms, so cough and fever. People die. Feeling tired and fatigue and dizziness. Can progress to like pneumonia. COVID-19 is transmitted by respiratory droplets through close contact with an infected individual. Respiratory droplets can be transmitted through coughing, sneezing, and saliva. Symptoms include runny nose, sore throat, cough, and fever. This illness can lead to pneumonia, breathing difficulties, and death. Symptoms can be similar to the flu or the cold, therefore laboratory tests are required to confirm if someone has COVID-19. Anyone can be susceptible to COVID-19, but the elderly and those with pre-existing medical conditions have a higher risk. The incubation period, which is the period between exposure to an infection and the appearance of the first symptoms, is around 1 to 12 and a half days, with median estimates of 5 to 6 days. Um, it's spreading like a lot faster than like a lot of the other um, viruses like the SARS pretty fast. <laughs> in China, there are like around like 60,000 people got infected and I think it's gonna keep like increasing. Uh, I think the incubation time is like around two weeks. On December 31st, 2019, there were several cases of pneumonia detected in Wuhan, China. However, it wasn't until January 7th, 2020, that Chinese authorities identified the 2019 novel coronavirus with the first coronavirus death on January 11th. Since then, the number of infected cases and death due to the virus has been increasing, and as of February 13th, 2020, 46,997 cases of coronavirus have been confirmed globally, with 4,655 cases in China. Scientists often use the r naught value to describe how infectious a disease is. Also known as the reproduction number, r naught is the number of cases, on average, an infected person will cause during their infectious period. Depending on the r naught value, a disease can either spread, remain stable, or decline. And this number depends on the infection period, contact rate, and mode of transmission. The r naught value for COVID-19 has been reported by the World Health Organization to be 1.4 to 2.5, but values up to 4.08 have been estimated due to the unknown basic properties of the pathogen and cases missed due to late onset of symptoms. Wash your hands, like after you got in public. People have been wearing face masks. Like seeing who's coming in and testing people when they come in from certain flights. It's just good hygiene in general. Cover yourself when you cough, um, stay at home. The average concentration of droplets coughed is 1,000 to 2,000 droplets per centimeter squared. The average size of these droplets 
can range from 0.74 micrometers to 2.12 micrometers, which is 60 times the width of a human hair. They can travel for more than 2 meters in a calm environment. To prevent contraction from these viral droplets, wearing masks can help block the particles due to the structure. There are two types of masks that are worn, surgical and N95 masks. Surgical masks only come in one size and can only serve as barriers against large particles. N95 masks are designed to fit tight to the face and minimize leakage. They can block 95% of the small particles as well as large particles, hence their name. To protect against most cough droplets, a regular medical mask is enough. However, in a randomized clinical trial with more than 2,800 influenza healthcare providers, the flu infection rates of those who wore N95 masks and regular medical masks actually showed no significant differences. Masks are most effective when combined with proper hygiene. These are best to use if you are taking care of an infected individual or coughing and sneezing. Proper disposal of masks is also imperative to ensure that the virus does not spread. Washing your hands with soap and running water, as well as alcohol-based rubs, is critical because your hands can carry the virus from contaminated surfaces. When you touch your face, the virus can complete its infection. I know people are trying to develop vaccines. Hydration and rest. Don't they treat it similarly to pneumonia? But I hope like there will be some soon. There currently is no specific treatment recommended for the 2019 coronavirus infection, according to the World Health Organization. Due to the urgency of this outbreak, scientists are trying to repurpose existing antiviral agents. There are no reliable treatment options yet. However, infected individuals should seek supportive care to relieve their symptoms.